Well, there's something I wasn't expecting. This was very unexpected. Let me tell you how I ended up with this. My wife broke her phone and ended up needing a replacement. Luckily we have insurance. The replacement wasn't the best. It overheated, it wasn't charging right. So they ended up sending her a check. So we bought hers on Sunday. Monday, I went on. I'm looking at the same phone because at the time, this color is $180 off. Limited time, had to do it. But it was still a hair over $500. And I swore to myself because if I don't, I will spend the money quickly. It had to be under $400 for me to get. So how did I get from $500 and change to under $400 in my head? First, Perks at Work. The company I work for uses this website called Perks at Work, which gets me a discount and gives me points. And because I buy all my Samsung stuff directly from Samsung using this site, I was able to get the price before tax from $499 down to $475 with the trade-in of my S22 Ultra. With tax, a little over $500. Second, the website, because I shop with it so often, was going to give me 15 times bonus points. Now each point counts as a penny. Buying this phone through Samsung, I got a 15 times bonus and I ended up getting 7000 100 points, which translates to a little over $70 I can use at Best Buy or on the Samsung site. Number two, Ratukin. When I bought my wife's phone, it didn't have that great a deal. When I went to look at it again, they were given 10% back. So in my Ratukin account, I have $47.50 sitting there that I will get in August. With the extra $120 in savings that I can use for my cases and other items, I had to pull the trigger. I do have to say, I love this pastel green. That is definitely not lime. Lime is a lot different. It is brighter than my blue, and I'm a little surprised that it has uh, silver sides to it, because my blue, I wasn't sure I was gonna like the black, but I actually do like the black sides on the blue. However, I will probably lose this a lot less because I lose my blue phone a lot. I'm constantly using my watch to find my phone, even when it's right in front of my face. I'd like to thank my 100 subscribers to joining me on my little journey here. I know I'm a bit unfocused and I said I do mostly Samsung stuff, but once you get into cameras, your tastes change. I'm very happy to have a new camera to try, even though I love the one I'm recording on. That's it for now. After I give this a few days, I'll be back with a report on what I think about the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Talk to you later.